Hi everyone, I got some things in the post today. I got this doll, she was eight pounds on Vinted and I thought that was a great price. And she really is in immaculate condition. She even still has the tag on her hat. Her hat has never been removed. Her hair does need a brush, but besides that, her dress is so snowy white, it's unbelievable. Um, I had thought I might change her dress into a jumper for a smart doll. I was going to, I don't know what I was going to do, but I'd got some kind of plan to, you know, shorten it and turn it into one of those jumpers that has a, um, a fabric bit at the bottom. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, that's why I bought it. But when I got her and she's in such immaculate condition, I may just brush her hair and keep her. Um, I do have other outfits I could put on if I do decide to use this outfit. I thought these would make nice smart doll socks because what I can do is alter them. I'm going to get my smart doll and try them on her to show you. Here she is. I've changed her into this outfit that I just recently bought her with her boots. I love that on her. I love the colour of it. I cannot keep a wig on. I need to get her a wig cap. I've got one somewhere, but I can't find the flipping thing. I'm awful with, with putting things away carefully and then not being able to find them. And I don't want to glue her wig onto her head. So, yeah, I wanted to... Uh, I must get her a wig cap. I, I do want to keep that wig on her, though. It is her wig, but, yeah. Anyway, let's take these boots off. And these boots, you can't... They've not got a zip or anything in them. You have to untie them to get them off. So let's do that look. I've got stuff all over. I've been watching YouTube videos. I've got other videos I'm going to make. I've got, I've got stuff everywhere. I do tend to make a few videos at once when I make them. Because, you know, when I'm feeling up to it, really. With this shoulder of mine. And today, fingers crossed, it's fine. So I'm not complaining. Um... So the sock would go on like that. Yeah, it, do, it is going to need, it's going to need taking in because it's, um, but it does have a seam down the back there. And I think if I take it in about half an inch to an inch, yeah, maybe an inch even all the way up, that's going to make a really nice sock for her. Don't even need to do it all the way up, do I? Let's put a pin in it. We'll put the best way to alter a sock to fit your doll, any doll is to pop it on inside out come up here Lorelei and you can see that there's a seam down the back of this one which makes it just perfect if I pull that up that heel just nicely fits into there so all I need to change from is from the heel up so I'm going to just pop a pin like this you'll see And then, uh, so if I stitch that down there like that, that sock's going to fit her beautifully, isn't it? Yeah, and then I need to do the same with the other one, because obviously there's two socks. And usually, when I shop on Vinted, I always look in the wardrobe of the you have wardrobes in on vintage which is like people's shops and you go in there and you can see everything that they've got for sale and i usually try to find more than one thing to make the postage worthwhile do you know what i mean otherwise you end up and you think oh well that you know it wasn't as cheap as you thought because of all the postage you've had to pay so i always look through the wardrobe see if there's anything else that you know that i could use or or buy to go with my um, purchase and when I did that with this doll and her outfit there we go if I sew down there like that the same as this one look down there like that I'm going to have another well-fitting sock so that's what I'm going to do with those I can't get that one off her foot no good is it I'm be able to do that one a tiny bit looser pop it over a tad it's a little bit too tight that one is there we go 
there we are right so that's those done so when i bought this doll i found these two pieces of clothing and they were a pound each and i thought well really if i all i've got to do to turn this into a dress for my smart doll is cut that off just there like that I've even got it's even got ribbon on it to hang it up with I can use that ribbon to make straps for her dress and then I can cut the skirt as long as I want it so it could be just down just above her knee it could be right down to her let's see I may double that over rather than cut it so that it um so that it doesn't need stitching across here otherwise you have to stitch it across there i'll see but that is going to be the perfect size for a doubled over isn't it so if i like i mean i could just cut it in half couldn't i and then um i can add the ribbon that's here that ribbon will be enough to go over both shoulders and there's enough the other side as well and then i can come decide how long i want it uh, it could be a maxi dress down to here or I could just cut it say here I think I'm going to cut it about here and then it'll be just above her knee once I've taken it up so I'm going to cut it about here it does have a little mark on it there that I'm not that's what's putting me off putting it as a maxi dress so I'm going to put it about there actually I need to turn it inside out don't have to do the top but um I want the top to be tight on her, I don't want it to be loose. So I'm thinking it might have to be shaped as well. But anyway, that's why I bought that, to turn it into a dress. And then I did the same with this one. But this is an awful, awful colour. I thought it was green and it's not. It's a, it's like a dirty yellow colour. I'm just not a fan of it, really. Um, I love the style of it. Um... I love how it does this look like that. I really like that. And I thought it would make a good maxi dress if I... Maybe it would look better on Shay with her darker skin. But I'm thinking if I have it like this, let's see. So I'm wanting it as a maxi dress on her. So I'd have it like this. And then, yeah, that would be long enough because I don't want to be flashing her credentials. Um, I'd, so I'd cut it just a little bit above. I mean, it's it needs cutting more than that. But it only has teeny tiny ribbons on it. But I have got some white ribbon or yellow ribbon I could use to make the thing with. And I'll use the bit in the middle. I won't use the armpit. So it'll need to come... If I do it like that, it's going to be too long. So it's going to need to come like that, I think. Um, I don't want to flash in a credential. So, yeah, that that's how long it's going to be, I think. And I can cut this bottom straight because it's got a staggered bottom. What I'll do, I'll cut it straight and re-stitch it. And then I can cut across here and, you know, down here so that it fits to her. And then this bit will come down loose like that like an a-line dress i will make sure it comes out further so it's loose and it's loose and it's um flexible enough to fall nicely on her so that was that's why i bought that anyway and that was a pound so watch this space for how that turns out yeah that's what uh, that's a bit of a few tips on the uh, making clothes for your smart doll and um vintage finds vintage finds so yeah um this outfit i bought on um ebay and i got the boots and the shoes together for 40 pounds which was a, a miracle which was a, an absolute bargain that included postage so yeah really happy with those so yeah uh, that was my video for today i hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching bye for now